welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be how i cover up well my quick tip on how i cover up my post acne scars in less than five minutes using two to three products or less the products you'll need to accomplish this quick tip the two types of concealers one concealer should be lighter than your skin tone and the other should be darker than your skin tone I will be using Mary Kay's concealer color bronzer one and bronzer number two. The next item you're going to need is a wet beauty blender. And last but not least, this will be optional. You can follow it up with a foundation, full cover foundation or a light powder, whatever your choice will be. It'll depend on how severe your acne is. I will be following this up with a mineral powder by mary Kay in the color bronzer number two so why don't we go ahead and get started i've already cleansed and moisturized the skin and now i'm ready to start with applying the concealer what you want to do is start off with the lightest concealer first but first i'll pinpoint what we're going to be covering i have a few post acne scars here they're slowly starting to go away but there are some darker ones that are have fainted away but I'll, I'll go ahead and cover those as well um i have a birthmark here most of the time people think i always burn myself with a curling iron but it's a birthmark and i also have moles and some post acne scars here and some here most of these on this side are slightly going away but the most recent one that i picked at was that one and it's still there so let's go ahead and cover that up we want to start with the lightest concealer first and it it doesn't matter how much you put on you just want to put enough on that covers the dark or the red or whatever you're trying to conceal you just want to make sure it's covered And you'll go ahead and apply as necessary. I'll go ahead and do my birthmark as well so you can kind of see how well this process works. And my moles. Not that I'm ashamed of them, but I'll show you how it works. If you wanted to cover up your moles, I'm going to show you how to do that. Have to add a little bit more. Alright. All dark spots are covered on my face or any type of redding that I want to conceal has been covered. Now what you want to do is take your darker concealer. Now when you apply your darker concealer, you don't want to apply a lot at one time. You want to slowly introduce the darker concealer into the lighter concealer to the point where it should just blend away. And you're just tapping the product in on the affected area, on the lighter concealer. You're tapping. Even when you first apply the light concealer, you're just tapping it on there. You're tapping it. You slowly want to introduce the darker colors. With the darker, when you slowly introduce the darker colors, it should disappear. Like, it should look like, dang, did you even put anything on your face? You can always add more of the darker color. But if you add too much, you'll have to go in and correct it. Or it'll look like a, a big spot is on your face. But if you slowly add on to the lighter concealer by just patting it on there, you should see it just become one with your skin. It should match your actual skin tone if done correctly. I'm 
my mold doesn't always get covered up but it's okay because it is what it is but if you wanted to you could just repeat it with a lighter color and then go in again if it's not concealed the way you want it to all right once all once you put in the darker color you should have you shouldn't even be able to really notice anything your dark spots should be covered once you finish with that phase you take the wet beauty blender and you want to basically just pat away the, the harsh edges around the concealer that you added you just just want to blend out any harsh edges around the areas that you may have covered and you can tap on it as well basically this last part is just to get rid of the harsh edges and from here you should not be able to see any dark spots if you were to still still see the dark spots repeat the repeat the process <clears throat> just go back in add the concealer go back in and add your darker concealer and repeat if it's not if it didn't conceal or you didn't add enough appropriately but i'm happy you can't see the dark spots at least maybe on camera it's gonna show well, i know you see my dimple indents i can't help that but <laughs> I see no dark spots so so this is the final look all I did you guys was follow it up with my mineral foundation by Mary Kay and all I did was put my little uh, elf complexion brush into my mineral powder and just wiped it over my face just like this very lightly that is it and I you can't really see my uh, black spots anymore. It's really light, it's really quick. It's starting to be summer and I don't like to wear a lot of foundation. I really don't wear a lot of foundation anyway. Sometimes this is all I put on, the mineral powder. But uh, for those of you who may have severe acne and you may have to follow that up with full coverage, go ahead and go do so. But that should help you not wear as much makeup as you may have had to use because you're trying to cover up those darker spots. That's one way you can do it. Let me know if this was a helpful tip. Hope you could put this in your makeup toolkit. And until next time, you guys, I will talk to you soon. Bye.